kwamba unasema utakuwa pamoja nasi mpaka mwisho wa dari. Kwa hiyo tunakushukuru kwa sababu uko mwaminifu na wewe hauko mwanadamu. Jina lako litukuzwe na linu liwe milele kwa china la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. Haleluya. 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 Haleluya church. I know that we're tired. And so many things have happened. The microphone was just waiting for the word so it could stop working. Amen. Amen. In Africa, we were preaching without microphone. You've made it. I know we're tired, but we have made it. Amen. Amen. Yesterday was a not a full time day it was a, an over mnasema ni kwa kazi kama mnatambuka sana overtime hii ni litambuka overtime yesterday was a time that went like was the day of the si, si, si juu tutaipaka tutaipatia jina gani and i don't know what we would name it sleep over sleep over time we call it sleep over time tumekuja hapa jana asubuhi 10:30 so we came here yesterday morning at 10:30 tena ujua tukianza 10:30 kuna wengine wanafika mbele ya hapo and you know to start at 10:30 there are people who came early tumeshinda hapa mchana we were here the whole day. Kwa wale wazazi tulikuwa hapa saa kumi. For the parents we were here again at Tukaenda mpaka saa mbili ya usiku. And we went up to eight. Kuna wengine hawakurudi nyumbani. And there are others who didn't go home. Alafu wengine wakatukuta tena saa 3:00 usiku. And others joined here again at through at the night. Tumeenda all the way mpaka 1:00 a.m. And we stayed here till 1:00 a.m. Amen. Eh? Amen. Wengine tumetembeza magari. And some who drove our cars. Na Mungu ametusaidia tumefika nyumbani. And God has helped us reach home. Sasa kuna wengine ambao ukiingia kukitanda. And there are others when you go to bed unakunguta wengine wana wa kwanza so tuseme umelala 3 so we we'll say that you slept at 3 amen amen kisha wengine sijui kama pamezimisha mahala ameamua kufanya je and i don't know if others attend of the alarms or what mungu asifiwe tumeamua but praise god that we are awake today. amen amen sasa tumeacha ya jana so we have left yesterday and we've started a new year tumeanza mwaka mpya mwambie ndugu yako tell your neighbor tumeanza mwaka mpya we have started a new year amen amen mwambie tume Just tell them we've started a new year. Tumeanza mwaka mpya. We have started a new year. Unajua hii jambo iko ya kipekee. You know this is important is special. Wataalamu wanatuambia Our, um, the scientists tell us Aseme hii ya 2023 that the year 2023 itakuwa katuli mwea mu lifetime. It will come just once in a lifetime. na tuhame na wengine bakuye nyuma so na balamukie hata sikiaka tena deni ya 2023 imepita because it's past amen eh? amen sasa kama 2023 imepita so if 2023 has passed now in 2024 and now we're in 2024 twende je mwaka huu how should we walk this year kwanza wewe Firstly, you, kisha wewe na familia yako and then you and your family kisha wewe na kanisa and then you and the church wewe yourself familia yako your family na kanisa and the church topic ya leo nitakamata dakika 15 tu i would just take 15 minutes kwa sababu mtumishi wa Mungu because servant of god nilikuwa namwambia msikio pale kama ile ushuhuda yake haiaisha i told him that his testimony wasn't finished mtumishi ile ushuhuda haiaisha That testimony was unfinished. Amen. Amen. So tutamwacha 15 minutes kule atumalizie ile ushuhuda. So we'll give him some time to finish his testimony. Tusiende isikilia kule pefe sana anaanza kuizungumza. So we don't hear interstate when he starts to talk about it over there. Amen. 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 Haleluya. Amen. Lakini ameanza jana kwa wale ambao walikuwa kanisani. But he started for those who were here yesterday. Twende na neno hili. So we'll go with this word. Tembea na great I am mwaka huu. Walk with the great I am this year. Amen. Amen. Tembea na great I am mwaka huu. Walk with the great I am this year. 
There is a kuna story nzuri nafurahia sana kwenye Biblia. There's a story that really makes me happy in the Bible. Na verse 2 tu hapo. And I'll just take two, uh, three verses here. Kisha tunaingilia katika neno hili. And then we'll go into our word. Twende kwenye kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 8. We'll go in the book of John chapter 8. Kamata 56 mpaka 58. Verses um, 56 to 58. Verse 56 to 58. Yohana chapter 8 verse 56 to 58. Yohana Yohana The book of John sura yake ya 8 chapter 8 Verse 56 to 58 Kwa Kiswahili ya Kongo 15:6 na 18 na 8 Kuna neno ambayo Yesu anawaambia watu There is a word that Jesus tells people Na kisha hawamuelewe hata And they don't understand him kwa sababu walikamata aspect ya Yesu kibinadamu. Because they took the aspect of Jesus the man. Hawajui aspect ya Yesu sawa Mungu. They didn't know Jesus the God. Amen. Amen. Najua hata leo kuna mafarakano mengi huko njiani. So even uh, today there's a lot of things happening on the way. Kwamba Yesu haiko Mungu. That Jesus is not God. Kwamba 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 kwamba. So many reasons. Hawa Yahudi nao. And these Jews as well. Wao wamechanganyikiwa na neno lile. They were confused with this word. Kwa sababu walimuona anazaliwa. Because the, they saw his birth. Kama umepata tusome pamoja. So if you've reached there we will read together. Yohana sura ya 8 mstari wa 15 na 6 mpaka 8 verses 56 to 58 Mwalimu umepata karibu Tumia hii We we'll read in English while we get the microphone Ibrahimu baba yenu alishangilia kwa vile atakavyoiona siku yangu naye akaiona akafurahi Basi Wayahudi wakamwambia wewe hujapata bado miaka hamsini nawe umemwona Ibrahimu Yesu akamwambia akawaambia Amini amini nawaambia yeye Ibrahimu asija kwako mimi niko amen I am uh, amen Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day and he saw it and was glad Then the Jews said to him you are not yet 50, 50 years old and you have seen Abraham Jesus said to them Most assuredly I say to you before Abraham was I am Haleluya Amen Hata naonge kuwa muyahudi ile wakati That if you were the Jew that day Na naonge sema maneno kama haya You you have said these words Amen Amen Yesu iko na wafundisha Jesus is teaching them Na na anawatupia hama And he throws a big rock Tumeshiko naita ase nundo nundo eh He calls it a big rock. Wewe fikiria tu. So just think. Hapa tunamzungumzia Yesu between 30 na 33. So this we're talking about Jesus being between the age of 30 and 33. Anasimama anaanza kuambia. He stands and he's saying. Baba yenu Abraham. Your father Abraham. Alifurahia sana kuiona siku yangu. He was glad to see my day. Na wakati ameiona when he saw it amefurahi he rejoiced hmm. Narudia I repeat Katika mafundisho yake In his teaching Jesus started to tell them Abraham, that your father Abraham alifurahi sana He was he was glad to yangu. see my day Na wakati ameiona when he saw that day amefurahi he rejoiced so yesu yuko anazungumzia mu present so is jesus talking about the present au mu past or the past amen amen wakati yesu anazungumza when jesus is talking abraham hayupo tena abraham was no longer there usizane yesu amechanganyikiwa ku matens don't think that jesus was confused with the tense he said this when he abraham so me or so that day wakati abraham ameona hiyo siku ama kuniona he was glad alifurahi so nikusema nini kwamba and what does that say manake kuna kipindi ambacho that there was a time huyu abraham when this abraham amekutana na siku so ya yesu so met with the day of jesus amen amen watu wanasema and they also say the teachings of this man it's impossible so they didn't keep it and they told him sir 
Bila vingine vya kusema sasa wewe mkate tutakukula. Remember hapa tuko kwenye kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 8. Remember this we are in the book of John chapter 8. Alisha bachanganisha kwanza mbele. He had already confused them before. Anasema sasa yeye ndio mkate wa kutoka mbinguni. He is the bread from heaven. Bamwe bamemkwepa. Some are flee from him. Bakamwachi. And they abandoned him. Lakini tena mafundisho yanaendelea. But the teachings continue. Sasa tutashatoka kwenye sura ya ya 6. So we have left Amba, chapter 6. Ambao amewachanganya na mafundisho kama yenye mkate. Was the bread. And we're going to chapter eight. When he's dropping out. He said, at the time of Abraham, when he heard my story, he was glad. And the time that he saw the day, he was rejoicing. And he said, Sir, you are not even fifty years of age. Amen. Amen. Hauna hata senka. You don't even have 50 years. Unaanza kutuambiaje Abraham? And how can you tell us that Abraham? Na unajua Wayahudi wanaheshimu Abraham. And you know the Jewish respect Abraham. Wanamheshimu Abraham. They respect him and they honor him so much. Na nitakwambia kwa nini? And I will tell you why. Amen. Eh? Amen. Wanaanza kumwambia ah ah. They start saying. Hiyo mafundisho yako makali makali. Simoya tuzisikie lakini hapa sasa ni kama unamalizia. It's like you finished it. Inakuwaje kwamba wewe so kijana. So how come that you the you. Wameona amezaliwa na Maria. Some saw him get uh, Mary give birth to him. Ame, wameona gisi amekoma katikati. And they saw yao. how he grew up among them. Kisha anaanza kuambia habari. And then he says to Abraham. tell them stories about Abraham. Na kwambia kwamba Abraham amemwona na akafurahi. And he was Alafu glad. Alafu anamwambia and they tell him you are not 50 years yet yet you have seen abraham lakini umemwona abraham sijui yesu wa aina gani wewe una deal nine i don't know what kind of Jesus you're dealing with. Kama ni ule wa 0 to 33 But if he is the one who zake, was 0 and 33 and he left, died and left. Na deal na eternal God. Or are you dealing with the eternal God? Narudi. I repeat. Sijue Yesu wa aina gani umeamini wewe. I don't know what type of Jesus you're believing in. Kama ni ule aliyekuja akafa na wikaisha. If he is the one who came down at the end or Yesu ambaye the Jesus I am. Who is I am? Manake meaning God of eternity. Na Mungu wa milele. Hakusema I was. He didn't say I was. Hakusema I will be. And he did not say I Hale will be. Sema, I am. He said, I am. Well, yes, I'm going to where did Jesus get that word from? Rudia kwenye kitabu cha kutoka. Go back in the book of Exodus. Sura yake ya tatu. Chapter 3. Mustari wa kumina tatu mpaka kumina tano. Verse 13 to 15. Alafu uwelewe kwa nini Yesu anambia wa Yahudi. And then understand what Jesus said to you. Asema hakika hakika na wambie ni. He said, surely I tell you. Kabla Abraham haja kuwepo. Before Abraham was. Mimi niko. I am. And then. Tena hachanganyikiwa na matenzi. And then he's not confusing the tenzi. Kuangle tu nzuri. In our good English. Shia tungesema. We would have said. Before Abraham was. Mbele Abraham akuwe. Tukifanya grama ya mzuri. If we do a grammatic. Tungesema I was. Tungesema he was. Amen. Amen. Njoo bangereza bale kule kutefe bangetuambia. And that's what they would have told us. Nangiambia John you can't say that. You say I was the same as you. You can't say before someone was. I was the same as mbele mutu walikuwa. You are. Na wewe huko. Ah 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 ah. No. Because you are talking about the past tense. Kwa sababu unazungumzia mnambo yopita. So you should say. So unapashwa sema. Before Abraham was. Mbele Abraham akuwa. I was. Na mimi nilikuwa. How I were. Wala nilikuwa. Amen. Amen. No 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 Jesus has changa nikiwe. Jesus was not confused. He knows what he is talking about. And he is clearly. Talking to them saying before Abraham was I am he says I am and hear what the Lord is saying to Moses Exodus 3 13 to 15 then Moses said to God indeed when I come to the children of Israel and say to them the God of your fathers has sent me to you and they say to me what is his name what shall I say to 
Nini nje niwaambie? Napenda Musa. And I love Moses. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Anamuliza Mungu. He's asking God. Hapa Mungu anamtuma wende. This is God sending him. Wende kwa watoto wangu wa Israeli. Go to my children, my Israelites. Ninakutuma kule. I'm sending you Musa over there. And Moses says, yes, I will Lakini, go. But Sami naenda kule. When I Minaza get there, kuambia, and I tell Mungu them, wa zenu, your, 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 the God of your fathers has sent me to Bakini you. Lakini uliza jina lake nani? Nitasema nini? What shall I say? Remember what the, the, Jesus answered the, the Pharisees? Kumbuka yale amba Mungu Yesu amejibu wa Farisayo. Before Abraham was. Mbele Abraham awepo. I am. Mimi nipo. Amen. Amen. Here is what the Lord God says Na, to Moses. Hii ndio amba Mungu anaambia Musa. Verse 14 says this. Mstari wa 14 nasema. And God said to Moses. Na Mungu akamwambia Musa. I am who I am. Mimi ndiye niliye. Is my name. Na hiyo ndiyo jina langu. Mm. And he said, Na akasema, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, Lakini uambio watoto wa Israel, I am has sent me to you. Nilie amenituma kwenu. Fifteen. Mstari wa kumi na tano. Moreover, God said to Moses, Na tena mungu waka muambia Musa, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, Utaambia watoto wa Israel, The Lord of your fathers, Mungu wa baba zenu, The God of Abraham, Mungu wa Abraham, The God of Isaac, Mungu wa Isaac, The God of Jacob, Na mungu wa Jacob, Has sent me to you. Amenituma kwenu. This is my name, Iyo ndio jina langu, Forever. Milene. And this is my memorial, to all generations. Now when the Lord Jesus is saying before more Abraham was I am. Na wakati Yesu anasema mbele Abraham awepo niko. Is referring to the great I am. Anaurudisha kuzungumza kuhusu yule ambaye aliye. Yes indeed before Abraham. Na ndio kweli kweli mbele Abraham mbele Abraham kuwa yeye iko. I want to ask you a simple question. Nataka niwaulize swali kidogo. Who exists first? Nani ndio ameumbikwa kwa kwanza? Is it a creature or the creator? Ni yeye muumbaji wala kiumbe. You can answer that easily. Munaweza kujibia. There's no tricky question. Na hakuna aina ya The answer is the creator, right? Jibu ni muumbaji. Amen. Amen. So Abraham is a creature. So Abraham ni kiumbe. Jesus is among the deity. Na God, Father, Son and Holy yes, Spirit. Yesu iko pamoja na wale watatu. So when he tell them, na kiwaambia, Abraham was mbele ya Abraham kuwa mimi niko. He meant it. Anaimaanisha. That's exactly what it is. Na yale ndio ilivyo. Amen. Amen. So my message for you this year. Na uh, message yangu kwenu mwaka huu. Walk huu. with the I am. Mutembee pamoja na iko. Walk with him. Tembea pamoja naye. If you want 2023 to be a great year for you. Kama unataka huu mwaka wa 2024 kwa mzuri wako. Unafungua. The key is to walk na with the great I am. Ni kutembea na pamoja na yule alie. What he says in the book of John. Na yale mba nasema kwenye kitabu kia Yohana. If it is a matter of looking for bread. Na kama ni kutafuta mkate. Food. Chakula. He says I am the bread of anasema, life. Anasema mimi ndiye mkate wa uzima. Amen. 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 I'm in John chapter 6 Na verse 35. Na hapa tuko kwenye Yohana sura ya 6. Kama ni habari za kutembea kwenye so giza. So if it's the, st the story of walking in darkness. Unafika kwenye situation mwaka huu. You go in a situation Amba this year. Ambao haujue njia tena. That you do not know the way. Unapima, unapima, unapima. You are trying, you've tried. And you want to go but you yes, don't know. Jesus says. I am the light of the world. Mimi ndio mwangaza wa ulimwengu. And I'm repeating the I am. So that you can understand the significance. And why he tells them. Abraham before Abraham was. I am. Wakati mambo yote haiendeke. And when things are not going well. Watu wote wamekuacha. Everybody has left you. Unapitia shit. And you're you're going through your trial. Wengine hawaelewi unachokipitia. And others are not understanding what you're going through. Hata marafiki hawakuelewa. Even your friends don't understand. Wengine marafiki wanaanza kukuacha. Even other friends are abandoning you. Your family doesn't understand. Wengine family yako hawaelewi unachokipitia. I am is there. Ndiye yeye yupo. I am is there. Ndiye yeye yupo. 
nataka nikutie moyo mwaka huu. And I want to encourage you this year. Kama mu 2023. If in 2023. Ulitembea ukiwa low. You walked in low spirit. Nataka nikukumbushe. I want to in, uh, remind you. Kama Bwana anatuambia yuko. That if God tells us he is. Nikuturudishia moyo. Is to encourage us. Nikuturudishia hope. Is to give us hope. Hata katika zile hali ngumu za maisha. Even in those difficulties of yuko. life. He is. Unajua kuna magumu inaweza kufika. You know there are things that may happen. Mpaka unakaa unaanza kujiuliza. Hata when you start asking yourself. Hivi Mungu angali ananisikia au je? Does God still hear me? Hivi Mungu uko naona hivi niko napitia au je? Does God see what I'm going through? Unaangalia mbele unaangalia nyuma. Umepima pima umepima pima. Nataka nikuhakikishe. I want to confirm. Anasema yeye. He says this. Yupo. He is. Bwana anasema yupo. The Lord says that he is. Unaweza kuwa uko kwenye njia. You may be on your way. Unakuwa stuck haujui tena njia. And you stuck you lose your way. Anasema hivi. He says this. Kwa kitabu cha Yohana 10. In the book of John chapter 10. Mimi ni mlango. I am the door. Wakati wowote utakuwa stuck mu 2024. At any time you be stuck in 2024. Kumbuka neno hili. Remember this. Yesu ni mlango. Jesus is the door. Unajua ukiingia kwenye nyumba you know if you enter a house, na haujui mlango and you don't know the door utasumbuka you will suffer utapata madore you will get hurt juu utaenda unajipiga kukimbia because you hit yourself on the wall hautajua fasi ya kutokea you will not know the exit yesu anasema jesus says yeye ni mlango he is the door kwa hiyo usipitie vibambazi so do not go through walls na mlango iko when the door is there Anaongeza anasema He adds and says Hapo kwenye kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 10 tu 11 in, na 14 In the book of John um, chapter uh, 14 or chapter 10 verse Anas, Anasema uh, mimi He says I am ni mchungaji mwema Your shepherd a good shepherd Unajua alama ya uchungaji You know the significance of being a shepherd Iko kwa mambo mbili It's two things Kwanza guidance First it's to guide na kisha protection And then it's to protect Amen Amen Kama Yesu anakuambia ni mchungaji mwema So if Jesus tells you he's a good Sio shepherd Sio kwamba atakuongoza It's not just that he will lead you Lakini pia atakulinda But he will also he so protect you So mwaka huu ninakutakia So this year what I want for you is the protection of Christ in you It's the protection, in you. Of, protection of Christ in your family and the protection, and the protection of Christ in your work Hata kwenye kazi Even in your job Kama mambo hayaendeki If things are not going well Mchungaji mwema awe na wewe huko The good shepherd will be with you alafu ikiwepo wakati wa magonjwa and if it's a time of sickness wakati unaanza kufika kwamba mambo haiwezekane when you feel like things are not they're coming across you Yohana sura 11 in the book of John chapter 11 anamwambia Martha na Maria he tells Martha and Mary anasema hivi he says this mimi ni ufufuo na uzima i am the resurrection and the life nikwambie kweli let me tell you the truth hatutakaa hapa milele we will not live here eternally hatutakaa hapa milele. We will not live here eternally. Lakini ukijua kwamba Kristo iko ndani yako. But if you know that Christ is in you. Huko tunapoenda. Where we are headed. Tunasema ni transformation. We saying it's just transformation. Tunatoka kwenye hali ya kimwili. We are living this physical life. Tunaingia kwenye maisha ya kiroho ya milele. And becoming spiritual eternally. Ndio maana anamwambia Maria na And that's why he tells Mary and Martha. Mimi ni ufufuo na uzima. I am the resurrection and the life. Sio tu anatupatia ufufuo. It's not that he will give us resurrection. Lakini anatupa uzima hata kama also give us life chai. even in the life that's coming wale hapa unaweza kuishi miaka 100 so here you may live 100 years lakini huko tunazungumzia maisha ya milele but there we're talking about eternal life na yesu anasema and jesus says yeye ni ufufuo na uzima he is the resurrection and the life tena kumbuka and then remember yoyote ile ambayo utakuwa nayo kama mafikiri mwaka huu whatever ideas you might have this year usitafute solution kwa mwanadamu wa yeye do not look for a solution from any man mtafute yesu look for jesus anasema hivi He says this Yeye ni njia He is the way Ukweli He is the truth na uzima. and he is the life Anaongeza anasema And he adds and says Mtu haji kwa baba No one comes to the father kama hajapita kwangu 
but through me. Alafu yeso, so Jesus sio tu kwamba ni yeye aliye, is not just that he is lakini yele yeye aliye, but the uh, he who has different yake. steps within him. Amen. Amen. Hapa nimekuzungumzia tu saba. So he I just talked about seven. Nikuongezea nane. But I'll add the eighth one. Kwamba yeye that he ni kisima cha uzima. He is a stream of life. Kisima cha uzima. The stream the pool of life. Kila wakati ambao utasikia kiu. That any time you may thirst. Muende yeye anaweza. Just go to him he's able. Utafunga macho yako tumwambie Yesu. Close our eyes and tell Jesus. Mwaka huu. That this year the great I am. Ye ye aliye. Uwe ndani ya maisha yangu mwaka huu. To be in my life for the whole year. Mtumishi nafasi. And then we'll give the pastor the time. Amalizie ushuhuda. So he can finish his testimony. Baba tunaomba. Katika jina la Yesu tembea pamoja na watu wako mwaka huu. E Bwana wahakikisha kwamba wewe ndiye ulie. Ulie leo, ulie kesho na hata milele upo. Ewe Mungu ninakusii. Hawa ambao wanapitia shida uwe pamoja nao kama msaada. Ninaomba hawa ambao ni wagonjwa usimame kama mponyaji kwa ajili yao. Wewe unasema wewe ni mlango, unasema wewe ni mchungaji mwema, unasema wewe ni ufufuo na uzima. Tena unatuambia wewe ni njia ukweli na uzima. Asante kwa wema wako na fadhili zako. Unaongeza na kusema kwamba wewe ni mzabibu wa kweli. Yesu tuko hapa mchana leo. Tukikutolea mwaka huu uwe pamoja nasi na utuongoze kwa jina la Yesu Amen